Consider the function f of x shown on this graph below. On which of these intervals could f have an average rate of change of negative 2 and have the rates of change that are changing at a rate of negative 2? So let's break this down into simpler terms. Okay, it has the average rate of change of negative 2 is fancy talk for slope is negative 2. I'll just write out slope is negative. For now. And, 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 the rate, rates of change are changing at a rate of negative two. What that implies is if the rates of change are changing at a negative two, that implies concave down because the rate of change of the rate of change is negative. Okay, the rate of change of the rate of change is negative. So I need a negative slope and I need concave down. Now, before I even look at these options, let's find out where we have concave down. So none of you, 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 inflection point. Now this is completely concave down. However, I want negative and concave down. So none of you, none of you, and that appears to be the maximum value right there. So the only area that appears to have a possibility where on any interval I have a slope of negative 2. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure somewhere on this interval I can draw a slope of negative 2. And uh, the rate of change is changing at a rate of negative 2, which means the rate of change is decreasing, which means concave down, is from this area to this area right here. G and H is the only option that I have. So that's going to be my guy. So this is a very bizarre sounding problem. It's a very bizarre setup problem. But again, it's telling you negative slope, rate of change is negative, is decreasing. Be careful how I word that. GH is the only guy that seems to do that. 